Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I am Slash Raptor, and this is Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. In the last episode, we rescued a couple of wolves from uh, Team Solar in a ranch, and then they let me catch one, but I didn't because I don't want a wool. Um, I'm currently pretty happy with my team. The only thing is 8 bit. 8 bit lately has just been kind of hard to use. She's very fast, which I like, but she has garbage for physical defense, and her typing hasn't really been useful to me. Um, so, I don't have any grass coverage though, which could also be useful. So, I think, as awful as it is, I think I'm gonna try and replace her. And I already looked it up, and I think I have a suitable specimen that you can catch in the woods near uh, this place, Serpentine City which is the first place we went to, and uh, so let's go get one. As much as I love 8-Bit, she's just not really, she's not really helping me right now. I don't think I'm gonna need that fairy coverage as much, because I know that the final gym is gonna be water, and I know that the next one is probably grass, and so fairy doesn't help against any of those, and I already have a dragon type, so the dragons I can handle with my dragon. And, yeah, so, like, I, I don't think the fairy type's gonna be that useful. So let's see if I can find this thing. It's a bug grass type, which is not the greatest, but as long as I don't put it up against any fire or flying, it should be fine, and it has really good uses. So I think we're gonna give this a try. And, again, I can always go back and get 8-bit again, so... See, I would use Chi-Chi, but I already have a flying type that I really like, so I don't want to have double coverage. Pretty sure you find them in this forest. This might take a while. No, I already have you, obviously. Come on, give me what I want. That's not what I want. I just got that. Hang on, let me look this up. I want to make sure that I get the right one. It might have an ability that I don't like. Just like how we had to look for a rise for a, a raise a raise it with sheer force. Uh, let's see. So it's going to have Swarm or Rivalry, neither of which are very good, so... Mossy Forest. It's the only place you can find them. But none of those abilities are very good, so I don't think it really matters which one I get. We just gotta keep looking until we find one. And we will. We always- I always get what I want. There it is. Okay, let's do this. 
Pokeball, go! Come on. It's level three. I don't have any moves that I can weaken it with. Just get in the ball, stick it. Alright, what are we going to call you? How about... Uh... How about... Oh, uh, brain fart. I don't know. How about fidget? Fidget? Fidget. Fidget, fidget. Fidget, fidget. Yeah. So I think it's an E. Alright, let's go get Fidget. Why did I call him Fidget? I don't know. First thing that came to my mind. Heal up, just in case. And I already took out the lucky egg in anticipation. Okay, so let's do this. Go in here. Rivalry. Yeah, that's not a very good ability, but Swarm kind of sucks, too. Uh, I'll put you there. As much as it pains me, I will miss you, 8-bit, but you kind of suck right now. Oops. Let's do that. And we're going to do... Oops. Wrong button. Nope. Wrong button again. There we go. And we're going to give you the lucky egg. Awesome. Let's go. Back to adventure. Okay, so we were in the safari thing, I think, at the end of the last one. Can I fly directly to it? No, it doesn't let me. But I can go here and then go south. I don't know what there's going to be in there, but I do want to figure out what sort of things there are. So we definitely want to check that out. Even if we don't catch anything, there's definitely the chance that I could get something very, very cool in there. Because if this is al this is already a, a game full of fake mon, so these are going to be even more things that I've never seen before. And it's not like I'm running short on cash, so... Alright, but first of all, I'm going in there to find all the items. Then we'll go again and see if I can get anything worth using or potentially adding to the team. A flower store. Pretty good. Please tell me this isn't like the Kanto Safari Zone where you gotta throw rocks and stuff at things. I really hated that. It was so dumb. I have Pokemon. Just let me battle them. Fidget's even following me. A Zinc. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's cute. That's probably a ground type, and I already have a ground type, though. Gotta find all these items. <laughs> Jurifier. <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> I'm amused, but I already have a fire type, and I'm quite, quite fond of her. Alright, let's see what we've got here. A power band. I don't know what that does. I think it might have to do with leveling up, but it probably reduces speed. Like the Macho Brace, I think, maybe? Yak? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yak? Yay, yak! Yay, yak! Yay for yaks! <laughs> no, I don't want... I don't know what that is, but it's derpy looking. I'm, I'm not interested. Wild Charge. Okay, that could be useful. If I ever get sick of Thunder Punch... I mean, Crackle Slam has the same base power, except it doesn't... It doesn't hurt me, too. A Max Revive. That will be very useful. Might not even sell that. I might hang on to that. Uh, ooh, there's a thing here. Item. Let's grab this. Protein. All these... All these vitamins are usually good to give to new... 
low level members gives them a bit of a boost. Jura fire. Sunny day. Not useful. Uh, what else have we got in here? Ooh, another TM. Incinerate. More useful. I've already got stronger moves on Kiddo, but... Carbos. Those are always nice. I like fast Pokemon. Or at least not super slow ones. And the ones that are slow need to be extremely powerful and have to be able to take a hit so that they can survive and then strike back. Just like Cuphead. Alright. Uh, I think that might be it. Unless there's areas in here that I'm just not seeing. That's it? That did not feel like a very long time at all. Alright, let's go looking for Pokemon this time now. Okay, what do we get here? No, I don't need that. I like the music, though. Ooh. That's cool. What are you? That was easy. <laughs> Where's the stable's easy button when you need it? An electric dark type. One of the fastest Pokemon in the world. They've be they've been recorded to break the sonic barrier when pursuing their prey. It says pursuing, but that's not the right word. But I, I know what it meant, so, you know. That could be cool. I don't really know if I want to get rid of Rhizodon, Ryze but that is neat. Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Probably gonna catch it, though. Yeah. Jura fire. <laughs> Giraffe's long and Jurafire's long neck allows it to reach the leaves of tall trees in the sanctuary. The healthier the Pokemon is, the more fierce its mane burns. I did not know that giraffes had manes. I would have just called that hair myself, but okay. Ah, there's that thing that uh, Rodney got. Let's see if I can catch one. Wow, either I'm on a really lucky streak, or this Safari Zone is rigged. Yeah, wow, look at that. It's pure rock type. I don't need it. Rock is not a very useful typing, but it is pretty cool looking. I've already got a rock type move, so I don't really think I need a, a full-on rock type. And I mean, even if I did, who would I get rid of? I like all my Pokemon. I even really, really like 8-Bit, but she's just not... She hasn't been useful since the beginning. Hip Pond. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not switching out my dragon for that. Water Dragon is such a good type defensively. Uh, let's see what else there is in here. Maybe we can get something up here. Yeah, no, I already have you. Goodbye. Yeah, yak. <laughs> Yay for yaks! If I did use one of those, I'd call it yakity. <sighs> Wasn't that also one of the Animaniacs? Yakko, Wacko, and Dot? accidentally throwing balls. Oh, for the first time, this thing breaks out.
Oh, it doesn't make the sound it makes when they run. Oh my goodness, it's a purple and it's a purple zebra giraffe. I don't remember zebras having such long necks. Maybe that's an okapi, but it's just called that. Let's see if I can catch this. I don't know what this thing is, but it's very colorful. Yes, I can catch that thing. A psychic type. It's a psychic zebra. <laughs> now I've seen everything. I don't know if I want to use that, though. I'm pretty good with Pe with uh, Princess. She's been holding her own, so I, I don't think I need to switch. No, I already have you. Goodbye. I also already have you. Goodbye. Are you following me? And getting weaker with each time you show up? Can I headbutt trees here? Oh, that's right, I got rid of headbutt. Oh well. Hello, Jurafier. Goodbye, Jurafier. This thing really seems like it wants me to catch it. I already have you. Oh, oops. I might get two. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. Cheat trick. That thing's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get this one. He's weaker. Oh, so close. Don't run away. I'm just gonna throw a rock at your head. And you're gonna... Yeah, okay. I would have run away too, to be honest with you, but... I just want to know what your typing is. Please don't run. You do not want me to catch you, do you? Oh, so close. Come on, Rolly. Get in the bowl. There we go. Yeah, you're just a pure ground. If I didn't already have a really good ground, I might be interested in using you. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, so let's head out of here. And then we can go this way. Back in the direction of where we were headed before we had to make that detour. Okay, we battled you battled you. Right, now it should let us go this way. Oh, here we go. Sailport Town. Yeah, the only problem is that now I don't really need that uh, move relearner anymore. Uh, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is just restock and then hit the road. And I probably don't even need to restock, actually. Oh, no, wait, I do, because I have to sell the stuff that I got on the Safari Zone. Uh, what is it? Yeah, this reduces the speed stat. I don't like things that reduce speed. All right, let's use this on Fidget. We'll use this on Fidget. And then we'll use this on Fidget. Do you have any... Are you carrying anything, Fidget? Pink apricorn. Seriously? What have I told you guys about picking up those stupid apricorns? I don't like that. Cease and desist. 
And get out of my inventory while you're at it too, please. All right, now I, yeah, whatever, fuck it. We'll just sell the max revive. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, guess that works. Okay, let's grab four. All right, let's do this. Where are we going again, though? Sailport town where adventures set sail. Oh, here he is. It's Rick. Pickle Rick. Uh, it's you, wimp. Long time no see. So you're heading to Rassic City. I told you that's my hometown. It's no place for a weakling like you. I'm going there too, and I'm going to battle Rex. He's one of the Elite Four. If I can beat him, I'll be one of the best trainers in Rikoto. But first, how about we battle? I want to test out my new Pokemon. Ready, weakling? Oh, bring it on, Pickle Rick. Whoa, he's got a full team of six. Okay, Fidget, you get in there. And now I have to figure out what the hell that thing is. It, it, probably a poison type of some sort. But other than that, I have no idea what that is. Fidget you go to level 4, 5, 6, 7, Razor Leaf, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Struggle Bug, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Endure. No. Natron. Yes. Bring in Fidget. And get some experience. And then we'll bring in Daenerys. I don't like the way that looks. If I can kill it fast, I might be okay. Yeah, we're fine. I can finish it off from here. Dragon Breath. What? It unleashed it already? But it was only storing for one turn. I must have miscounted. Sorry, Daenerys. Uh, okay, get in there, Cuphead. Storm throw! Yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. That was a critical hit? I didn't know Magnitude could critical hit. I thought it was, like, random in the damage it did. 23, 24, 25, 26... Parabow. Uh, fidget. And, uh, we're gonna bring in Kiddo and use your new Rock Slide move. Yeah, that would have messed up him. Die! No, kiddo! He's right in! Crackle Slam! Come on, right in! Thank you! Unnecessary critical hit! 28, 29, 30. Why isn't he learning any moves? Dinopion. No. Crackle Slam! That must be the evolved form of Erickson. Haha, <laughs> you missed me! A cast spring. Uh, princess, that's a bug. Ball blow. There, now it killed something. It was usually just doing a shit ton of damage, and then it would just kind of end. 
Stegasteel. That is definitely going to be four times weak to any of your ground type moves. Magnitude 5, really? I guess it's. Oh! Oh ho ho! Okay. Is, did it survive because it had sturdy and it just didn't tell me, or did it survive just because? I'm still better. Oh! Oh shit. Okay. Oh, that's right, Fidget evolves at 20. I overleveled him. I hope he didn't miss out on any good moves. So he'll learn X Scissor at 31. What level is he now? Wait, no, I have the TM I have the TM for X Scissor, so that one doesn't matter. Professor Pridewood called me and said I should tell you that he's waiting for us in the Pokemon Center here in Sailport. Kira will be there too. Professor sounds really anxious. I think he'll give us new information about Team Solar and Team Lunar. We'll be waiting for you at the quest floor of the Pokemon Center. See you soon. Okay. Oh yeah, so you you just just barely managed to hang in there. Wow, that was a huge thing though. Pretty balanced stats. Rivalry is kind of a garbage ability, but at this point it's better than nothing. You know what, I'm actually just going to go ahead and teach you x Scissor now, because I have it, and I know you can learn it. Okay, so let's get rid of Struggle Bug, because that's a special move and you are not a special attacker. And I'll bet you if you can learn some fighting moves too. Probably learn this. At least until you learn something different. Can you learn Dragon Claw? That'd be pretty cool. No. I guess I'll give you Hone Claws then. Just to get rid of Harden, because anything is better than stupid Harden. I like the music for this town. I don't know what it's from, but I like it. Pretty good move set so far. I like the way he looks on the uh, on the overworld. He's still unsure about if traveling with me is a good idea or not. Man, not even Daenerys took that long to like me. What's not to like? I'm awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do, uh, yeah, actually, where everybody seems to s still be in order, so I don't really have to do anything, actually. Um, okay, but, uh, do I have to do anything with these guys here? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Max Repel. Yeah, no, we're we're all we're all set. Okay, so then let's head over here. Slash, you've made it. Come have a seat. I have to tell you new information I've found out about these two organizations, which are known as Team Solar and Team Lunar. As I already told you, Team Solar and Team Lunar are searching for the elemental stones, the five stones belonging to the elemental power of Rakoto, or the elemental Pokemon. Legend has it these stones trapped Solaran, the Pokemon of Order, and Lunaro, the Pokemon of Chaos, in another dimension, to stop them from fighting. I remember this story. My dad told it to me when I was a little kid. He you are still a little kid. You're ten. He said that if all five stones are reunited, it would open a portal to this dimension and would release Solaran and Lunaro back into our world. That's correct, Kiara. If they succeed in their mission, they will release the two... 
where they will fight once again, destroying everything in their way. We can't let that happen. I didn't want you to be involved with this, but it seems you already are. You must keep that core stone safe and away from them, Slash, at all costs. Team Looter already has the Earth Stone, and Team Solar has the Vault Stone. That leaves the last two stones out there. Do you know where they are, Professor? My research has led me to, led me, led me to them, each being somewhere near Rainbow Reef and Whisper Tunnel. There must be hidden temples somewhere in those areas. We should go there and get the stones before Team Solar and Lunar do. That's the plan, Rodney. But you need to keep it safe. At the moment, I've had a word that both teams have been seen near Rassic City. They must be after something there. May I, may I request that you three head over to Rassic City and see what they're doing? There's an ancient artifact museum there. Perhaps there's something there that will that they're looking for. Leave it to us, Professor. We'll stop them at all costs. I knew I could count on you three. I also have another gift for you which will help you stop these teams. Well, this is one is for you, Rodney, and this one is yours, Kiera. For you, Slash, I have this. Salus... Salus... Slammite. Wow, what a mouthful. Salsonite, I'll just call it. Wow, thanks, Professor, but what is this? It's a rare stone called the Mega Stone. It seems when it seems when it's near a specific Pokemon, it reacts in some way with it. That's the other reason I'm sending you three to Rassic City. There's a specialist of Mega Stones, Lizzie. You should show her this. I think she could help you find out how, to, how it reacts with your Pokemon. Thank you, Professor. That's awesome. That's all I can do for you three. Now it's time to go. Stop Team Solar and Team Lunar. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and organize boxes and we're gonna give you this. Okay. Wunderbar. Alright, so now it looks like we're gonna have to do some surfing, because I don't think there's a boat here. Which is sucks, because I always hate exploring these stupid ocean routes. But there's a beach here. Can I go this way? No, I don't think I can go that way. I should be able to, but it doesn't let me. I don't know if there's anything there, though. So I took like two steps and I've already got something. A Whaley. You can probably take that out. Nice crit, Fidget. Haha! <laughs> Not very effective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am impressed. I quite like this. This is what real power feels like. Another Whaley. Well, I know what to do with that. Do you know what to do with that, Fidget? Haha, <laughs> not very effective. How did you miss? It has an accuracy of 95. The target is right there. Just hit him. Thank you. And yes, it is indeed super effective. Fidget grew to level 51. See, now, assuming that this chart is accurate, that's when he would have learned what he already knew. A Hamal. That looks to be a water steel type. So perhaps, yeah, lucky guess, because it looks like it's wearing armor, so. What? How did that not kill you? Now you're going to kill yourself. Oh no, you've got that ability, okay. So it doesn't kill you then. Dumb. Not fair. Fidget was a, you, you, you that was a sucker punch. I didn't know that thing that those stat lowering things could miss. Haha, -ha, not this time. Razor Leaf. Ya done, son. Actually I think that one was a girl. Alright, this is uh, gonna take forever if I don't do this. So we're gonna go ahead and max repel. Alright, let's... What? Oh, right, because I have him out front. It's a dumb... That's a dumb aspect. I really don't like that. 
Like, how am I supposed to trade him against the Pokemon here if I can't actually... Well, actually, well, I guess I wouldn't be training if I'm running away from everything, but whatever. I don't like how I, I can't put him in front and still benefit from the effects of the repel. That defeats the purpose of me using it. There. Okay. Now it'll work. Uh, is that a waterfall? No. It, it, oh, it's a current. I see. Okay, I guess we're gonna battle this chick. That was the Pokemon I was planning on bringing in. If I hadn't found Daenerys, that's a water ice type, and it can mega evolve, so. Okay, you've made your mark. Now get out of there, and then I'm gonna bring in Raiden. Oh shit! Good god! Oh, because it did Swords Dance. I was gonna say, why does that do so much damage? Jesus! Raiden just got wrecked! Um. Oh. Uh... Princess. I guess. I don't know. I My electric type just went down, so... Oh shit, I forgot you're a flying type! Of course, it's a critical hit. Yeah, of course. Of course it is. Jesus. That thing's fucking evil incarnate. Try your ice attack on me. It's not gonna work. What an idiot. It raised its physical attack, so then it uses special attack to try and take me down. Because you go to level 33, chip away. Eh, sure. It's not... It's, an, it's okay. Alright. Oops. Uh, do this here. This move goes here. Like that. There we go. It's a shame I hadn't... Uh, I probably shouldn't have sold that Max Revive, but oh well. Princess and Raiden. Well, anyway, folks, that's all the time I have for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future for more Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I have two other shows that you might also enjoy, and you can find them by clicking on the icon below the screen, the little uh, the little face thing that I made. It's actually just an edited thing of Mega Man, but it looked like me at the time I made it. If you like me and you want to see more of me, there's two other shows, top ten show called Square Cow Countdowns, and a variety show called The Slash Raptor Show. And also, in the description of this video is a link to my Patreon account, which I've had for almost a year, actually more than a year, but I still have no followers, and I want to help this channel expand, but I can't do it alone. I just don't have the money. So if you want to help me out, there's the link to that, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, and as always, game on. See ya! Okay, so, um, I'm an idiot. When I said that he hadn't missed on any moves and that he learned x Scissor at 31, I was looking at the page for Stick It, the first form of the Pokémon, when I should have been looking at the second one. And I did that, and I found out that he missed out on the move Needle Arm. So, since we're already here, I'm gonna heal up, go get that Heart Scale, find the, the move learner, and then have him be retaught Needle Arm, which he missed out on, because I quite like that move. Uh, where is that heart scale again? Here it is. Okay, so we got this. Now we're gonna go down here and see if I can figure out which one of these houses is the name raider. Uh, let's start from the bottom and then work our way up. Or right, the move relearner. Oh, there you go! First try! Okay, so bring him a heart scale, which I have, and we're going to have him relearn 
needle arm. And we're gonna get rid of Brick Break. Because I already have someone that knows it. I just put it there because it was a physical move. There. Okay. So then we're gonna do this. And Needle Arm will go there and like that. Awesome. Okay, now we're done. See you in the next episode.